Hello guys, welcome to Tutlings. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to install Docker on Windows 11 operating system. So let's go ahead and launch the browser and let's search for Docker desktop. So here I am on the Docker desktop. We can go ahead and click on this install Docker desktop on Windows. You can choose the version that needs to be installed for Windows, which is this. So here I'm on the downloads folder. Let me go ahead and double click on it to install. You will be prompted with a user access control. So go ahead and select yes. So as I have already installed this same version, it is showing me this message, existing installation is up to date. So I'll go, go ahead and close it. For you, if you are doing this for the first time, it will prompt you to restart your PC. I have done that already. Before we proceed and launch the Docker desktop for Windows, we see there are some certain requirements. So let's go ahead and look at them. So, we need to download and install the Linux kernel update package. So let's click on this hyperlink and we'll be landed here. Right. So here I'm supposed to download this Linux kernel update package. Let me go ahead and do that. So here I'm on the installation wizard. So I'm prompted with the user access control to choose S and tada, it's finished. What we need to do is we need to open the terminal and from the PowerShell as it has been mentioned, let's choose PowerShell and we will run this command. Okay, the operation completed successfully. The next step is we need to install the Linux di distribution of our choice. Let's go ahead and launch Microsoft Store. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and search for Ubuntu. And let's install version 22. Yeah, it is by Canonical Group Limited. It has to be. Um, so let's click on get and wait for the installation to succeed. Now it's downloading. Let's come back once uh, it is done downloading. Let's see if it's installed successfully. And meanwhile, let's look at this page. If we have anything to see here, even the documentation suggests to install Ubuntu which is good and these are the various uh, distributions that are available for you to download and install let's see what's the progress here yeah it's installed okay once you are done with the installation of ubuntu on microsoft store search for it again and wander to the same version of ubuntu that you have installed and open so you should see that the package gets unpacked and you will see this terminal and you can just uh, check something like etc os release which indicates that the operating system ubuntu version 22 is successfully installed as a subsystem within your windows that's how it is called as windows subsystem for Linux. Let's go ahead and close this and if you look at the terminal you will see the new version of the terminal which is Ubuntu will show up here. All right so there are few checks that we have to do uh, once we are done successfully installing. Our terminal needs to be closed and reopened which I have done and we need to run this command wsl.exe list the subsystems that we have Windows subsystem for Linux that we have, which is this one. And as we have already set the subsystem for Linux to as default by running this command, 
which we can do it again here. Finally, the default subsystem for Linux will be set as this one. I'll go ahead and run this command wsl set default as this Ubuntu version and I'm done. I'll go ahead and launch the Docker desktop this time by clicking on the icon. Service is not running. All right, so would you like to start it? Uh, okay. And a UAC. And uh, I don't know why this has popped up again. Uh, let's go ahead and accept it. Hopefully, I see it might start this time at least. Hooray. All right, so the Docker desktop started. And let's look at the settings that I have in the resources section, WS integration, enable integration with my default WSL distro is enabled by default. If at all you have multiple distros and you want to uh, link your WSL to that particular distro, it will show up here and you can just uh, untick this and choose the explicit distro you want to apply the integration with and click on apply and restart it is still running so i'll just see if i can restart okay it is stopping it's trying to restart yes so there is one more setting turn windows features on or off windows hypervisor platform i have just enabled it but it has asked me to restart which i haven't done yet but you can go ahead and do that and see if it works for you but you haven't tried that so if you found this video uh, helpful please uh, give it a like and share it with your friends i request you to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell icon with lots of love have a great day bye